Hey guys, and welcome back to some Black and White 2. I um, made some modifications here to the game. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Uh, my game is now running on, what, 1080 by 1920? So everything should look a bit more crispier. Not sure if you guys can uh, tell the difference. I kind of can. Also, uh, tweak some of the performance stuff to uh, try to get the frames up a bit. So I know this is running a little bit sluggish. I think it's running a bit better now, but um, I don't know. We'll just see in time. Hopefully it's good enough for all you guys out there. So like I was saying in the last episode, uh, we're going to trade this guy in, our tiger here. And uh, we're going to get a different creature. So the tiger is great and all. He has a really high speed and really high damage. So he's great for combat. He's inherently evil, which is fine. You can make him good. But uh, his beginning tendencies are uh, evil. And uh, I'm not really going to do an evil playthrough. Uh, I think in, you have something in your hand, buddy? No, oh, grain. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm not really going to be doing an evil playthrough so much. Especially not from my creature. I uh, actually want my creature to be very good. If there's any evil that's going to be going on, it's uh, going to be me directly doing it, not so much my creature. And um, again, while the tiger is really good for combat and really good for speed, he's uh, one of the fastest creatures and one of the strongest creatures. Uh, he is as dumb as a rock. Uh, I believe he has the lowest intelligence score. Uh, at least I know his intelligence is a 1, and I believe it's on a scale of 1 to 10. So he's pretty dumb, which means it takes a long time to teach him things, which if you're patient and you really want a tiger, I mean, you can teach him stuff, but um, he's, he's pretty dumb. So we're going to trade him out. We're going to get a horse, and the horse is pretty freaking good. Um, he's pretty good all around. He has decent strength, decent, uh, very good speed, actually. And he is uh, relatively smart. Uh, his, his scores, and I believe his intelligence is like maybe a six or something. So let's go ahead and uh, get the horse and trade him out. Hello, I have this special creature for you. Pick him up here. Now I did uh, notice my. I did notice in some of the test stuff I was doing, the horse was exhibiting some really odd behaviors, and that he was. Uh, constantly sleeping when his tiredness was at zero um, and kind of just doing some other weird stuff so I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on here on the first island Great and, boss. if you want your old creature back just return here yeah. later and uh, if he keeps acting kind of weird and stuff it may be like maybe the patch is bugged or something I don't really know um, see like this he just instantly kind of like goes to sleep. I mean, 22% tiredness, he really shouldn't be laying down, so. And I know you can, uh, I mean, I know you just beat the shit out of him if he sleeps and stuff, but he gets some kind of uh, odd behaviors from it. It'll be like, uh, he doesn't, you know, he'll be like, oh, you're beating the shit out of me. Is it because I'm curious about things? Don't do that. So you gotta be kind of careful sometimes when you do beat him for certain things. So let's see if he just runs back home. Nah, see, he just wants to sleep. Yeah, that's not very good. So, like, uh, let's see for example here. Let's see if the tiger does, like, anything different. I guess I gotta like, test around with this. Hello. should probably do this without recording, but, uh... Whatever. Are you sure you want a new creature? Click the action button on the creature you want to swap to if you are. Alright. I'm gonna kind of mess around with this a little bit, and, uh... You know, the creature is very important, and uh, I, like I said, when I was playing last time, the horse yeah, the horse is great and all, but uh, if he's uh, going to be acting a little bit funny, then um, Great boss! If you want your old creature back, just return here later. I don't know if the horse is maybe just inherently lazy as shit. That could be a, the issue. Uh, would my tiger just like sleep? 
Yeah, I guess he would, huh? Okay. All right. All right. Sorry, it, it has been too uh, quite a bit of time since I have played this. Are you sure you want a new? I might just be remembering wrong. Maybe I do have to just beat the shit out of him a lot more for stupid stuff. I don't know. What are you looking at, horse? Get up that hill. If you want your old creature back, just return here later. All right, so we'll go ahead and bring him back, and uh, we got to begin kind of training him to do things uh, properly. So, and um, yeah, so the horse is pretty good. He's uh, pretty average overall. He's pretty quick though. He um, is pretty smart. He's a decent fighter. He's not the best, of course. The tiger, you know, a tiger could beat the crap out of him probably. I mean, it really depends on how you train them. I've seen, uh, I've seen like, um, I, I mean, I've seen some pretty combat-heavy creatures lose to non-combat creatures. It just really depends on how you handle them in combat, or how you train them, and what kind of uh, just things you do. Combat can be very, combat's pretty interesting in this game. It can be very up to you as a player to win the combat, or you can let the creature fight by itself. And one of the things that's really cool is if you train them right, and I guess if you spend enough time in the game and you train it properly, uh, you can make it into a very well-fighting creature. So if you let him fight a lot on his own, um, if he like loses duel, if he loses fights and things like that, a silver reward scroll on the um, beach behind those huge gates. then you know you just kind of have to like you know, comfort him a little bit on it and be like, it's okay, just get back in there and stuff. If he loses too many, then you know you got to beat the shit out of him because he can't be losing. So, um, you know, just kind of stuff like that. So you train him basic stuff. First of all, uh, we need to feed him so that he can learn how to feed himself. So we're going to kind of give him grain here and be like, look, this is what you eat. You're a horse. You can eat grain. So he eats it. And, uh, you know, you can pet him for that and be like, good horse. Um, so you kind of want to eat him like, you know, you kind of want him doing... You know, eating not people or like sometimes they'll eat livestock, which is fine as well. Um, I think there's only like a certain amount of livestock in each map, so I believe it's limited. So he he will he will like eventually run out and stuff. So it's kind of whatever. We'll go ahead and let, let him go back there and kind of nap as well. You kind of want to try and teach them to nap or to sleep in here. So I think anytime he sleeps outside of here, I might beat the crap out of him. And the reason you want him to actually sleep in his pen is whenever creatures sleep in their pens here, they will they will grow faster. So it helps them with their growth. And that is very important. We want the creature to grow big and strong. So um, while he's doing that, um, it, might just be, it might just be a good idea to kind of keep an eye on him. There's a silver reward scroll we can do down here. It's going to require him, so we'll let him get rested up, and I guess we can go ahead and do that. And uh, I'm not really too sure why I'm giving these guys wood. <laughs> I guess it's just something to do while I speak. There's also um, this guy back here, and we'll learn about him a bit later. So we'll kind of just watch our guy here and make sure he doesn't do anything dumb. So now, when you first get them, they... they literally don't really know how to do anything and they'll try and do stuff on their own um such as like sometimes they get hungry and they don't really realize they're supposed to eat grain then they will uh they might eat a person and you know if you want to be like all evil and stuff that's fine you can get a ton of people so it's perfectly fine to have a creature who just constantly snacks on your people all the time and if you want to do like a really evil guy you can so but, um, and there's, like, like I was mentioned earlier, there's a couple different leashes. So if you want him to do all aggressive combat stuff, uh, you can use this leash. Uh, if you want him to be nice and things like that, you use this one. And if you want him to kind of just be himself, but learn things quicker, then you're going to use this leash. And this is what we're going to use the majority of the time. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy enough to just use the fluffy leash of compassion and, and leash him stuff. And then, you know, be like, okay, he's going to be good and stuff, but... It's kind of another thing to actually have him be good because he wants to be good, I guess. We kind of have to teach him here to use, like, this store. So, 
he's kind of looking at us and paying attention when he sees you do stuff like this um, he's gonna kind of kind of get an idea of how to do things and sometimes he'll pick up pretty quick and sometimes he'll be dumb as crap um, it's just how the AI works sometimes he likes to run circles around this building is like what the fuck is this why do people do here I don't get it so you try to do things like um, that tree's probably too big for him. So you can like give him a uh, that too big too. I guess so. What do you need? Like a bush? Oh God, you pick that bush up. Oh, you can take a shit on it. That works too. That's all right. Sometimes when you click on like rocks and trees, they'll just want to take a dump on it. He doesn't have any dump to take though. But um, you can kind of leave him around here, and he'll watch the villagers and learn how to do stuff as well. So you can leash him with things like this. And sometimes he'll pay attention to stuff and learn things. And sometimes he won't. <laughs> Just kind of how it works. There's a silver reward scroll on the beach behind those huge gates. You know, he's like a newborn baby. Doesn't really know how to do a whole lot. He kind of learns a lot of skills over time. And they're pretty interesting to watch. And this is... It's like there. I think he just ate, like, some grain. Or he can eat that sheep, maybe? No, he wants to look at it. It's like, you want him eating livestock and stuff, which is fine. He can eat animals. You can pet him and stuff. And, uh... Unfortunately, again, for this first island here, you can't really see, like, his thoughts and stuff, which will normally appear down here. So he's trying to take a dump. He doesn't have any dumps to take. Because he's dumb. But, uh, yeah, like I said, in this first island, unfortunately, you're not really going to see, like, what he's learning and stuff. And he's like, I don't have anything really to do, so I'm just going to sit down. Which is fine. But, um, we can go ahead and, uh, I don't need to do that reward scroll, so I'll go ahead and come over here. And we're gonna bring him down here. And um, we're gonna do this uh, reward scroll here. So let's do it. What's all the fuss? A freak wave has just struck. My husband and four others are drowning. Please help them. Well, let's see. Who do we know who's tall enough to wait out to him? Don't muck around. Let's get our creature out there as fast as possible. Okay. So like they said, you have to use your creature in order to get these people. You can uh, use the one hand of awesomeness to get them. Unlike, you know, how you could at the opening cutscene. But they're pretty easy to save. Uh, they will die if you wait too long. Um... And it will forfeit the reward if one of them does die, so you have to at least kind of be ready to do it. I mean, if you're trying to do it and your guy's like wanting to sleep, then of course you're probably going to fail. So you just kind of have to be ready. But, you know, when you're first playing this and you don't know, you need to do this. And it's like, oh shit, get over here, dude. Get these dudes. And odds are one will die. So hopefully... We can get them. And I don't know if they're like on random timers to die. I feel like sometimes when I do this, they do. Or I remember sometimes they would just like die pretty quick. Or if it's like a set timer. But go ahead and get all these guys here. Get this last dude. Good thing the horse can just walk on water because he's Jesus' horse. And there you go. Oh, I'm so grateful. <laughs> we'll get some extra worshiping done. Well, yeah, you're grateful now. And we are given a miracle dispenser. This pedestal is a miracle dispenser. It charges up and generates one-shot miracles. Click on the signpost for more info. So miracle dispensers are great. Um, they allow you to uh, use a miracle, and then later you can look back, and that miracle will respawn. And you can teach them to do all kinds of stuff. You can teach them to actually use, um, I believe, almost any miracle in the game. So you just lease them to stuff, pick up the miracle, try to get them to pay attention to you. So you're like, hey buddy. You're like, boom. Oh, I didn't learn any. You're dumb. Oh well. 
supposed to be a light bulb that will go over his head sometimes. And uh, when he gets 100%, he'll be able to um, use those miracles himself, which is great and all. So, anyways, that's uh, done there. There's a silver scroll there. There's also, I think, another one over here. Yeah, and this is the singing stones. So we have to find all these stones that make notes and then bring it to him, and then he'll, uh, he'll, um, give us stuff. So we're going to find them all. I know where they're all at, um, hopefully. There's a silver there. reward scroll on the beach behind those huge gates. And, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, too, but every once in a while the game kind of hangs up. I'm not really too sure why. <laughs> um... So that's a dud. There's a couple of duds out there. It's probably just because it's old. That's my guess. So I'm gonna kinda just let him run around for a little bit now. I don't think he'll get into too much trouble. Yeah, he just wants to kinda hang out. We could try and play catch with him. I don't know if he's uh, as playful as the tiger is. I don't actually know where the ball is. Hmm. Maybe he ate it. I wouldn't be surprised if he ate it. Oh well. I think you can get another ball at some point on this island. So we'll just do that. He's gonna run around and be silly. It kind of hangs up there. I'll be doing that every once in a while, I guess. Do you think he's eating fish? And that's good, too. He can eat fish. So yeah, give him a good pet. Scratch his ball. Scratch his ball. Good boy. Good boy. You eat that fish. Scratch your ball. So, eat fish. That's fine. And let's see. So we gotta find the rest of these singing stones. I think one is right here. Yeah. And I think the last one, oop. I think the last one is over here. Yeah. And then of course you have to, you're gonna have to assemble them here in the right orders. And my volume is kind of down here a little bit, so it's going to be hard to hear it all. Maybe like that one. Maybe that. Sounds higher than this one. Probably swap these, I think. This one sounded. It's maybe something. Let's let it go around one time. That sounds right. Come on. Is that to talk to you? Hi, man. Neat stone circle, huh? Oh, that's it's right. I never even activated the quest. Nice. <laughs> Like <laughs> right, there. okay. What? Help this deluded shack up. The stones have to play a scale. That's what we need. Tap a stone to hear its note. Mm hmm. There we go. That makes more sense. Wow. Now this is a good vibe. It's a good Amazing. vibe, dude. Thanks, dude. Something is happening. The stones are singing together again. Oh my god, it's getting dark. 
What have we done? We've summoned Satan! No! Another of those cool miracle dispensers. And this one is food. You can take food. Be like, hey, buddy. What are you doing? Oops. I tried to move him, but I guess not. Be like, hey. Hi. Yeah, you can have that grain. Hi. Oh. He's like, I got stuff to do, dude. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> Go ahead and attach him there. He can be fun with the villagers. Anyways. So let's see. Um. Oh, you know what? I don't think I can actually teach him anything yet. <clears throat> I think that comes a bit later here. There's a silver reward right. scroll on the beach behind right. those huge. Don't you shit on that lady? You think that's funny? Don't you shit on that lady? Don't you shit on that lady? You go find somewhere else to shit. Shit on their town square. That's so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and uh, proceed with the game. Holy one, there's a huge creature in the valley beyond. We're all terrified. This must be the creature that Siebel spoke of. Let's investigate. Okay. Let's go. Look at the size of that. Ah, okay. We're dead. We're all dead. What is it? Where's it from? It doesn't seem to be aggressive, though. If it is, we're all dead. Even the spirits. Dead! You two boys! Can you hear that? This giant is communicating. It's telepathic. You have a creature. Prank him to me. No way! He'll eat him! But this giant looks friendly. Let's bring our creature over with the leash. Okay. Please use the leash to bring your creature to me. Sure. I mean, I don't understand how he looks friendly. He has giant scything claws of death. But, uh, sure. We'll come say hi. It's not like we got anything else to do. Oh, I should really have him run with rocks. Uh, you can strength train them, and if you have them run around with uh, objects, it will build their strength, which will allow them to do like more damage Please in combat, use which is the great. Leash to bring your creature to me. Hurrah. I do hope they'll be friends. Oh, I'm sure they'll be friends. I don't think lion. I don't know. Do lions eat horses? Pretty sure lions eat horses, if they wanted to. Nice derp look, dude. What did you expect me to have? Another creature? Is it true? Are you real? No, he's not real. I've been alone for eons. I thought I would die without ever seeing another god. Or another creature. I once belonged to Nemesis, the most powerful of gods. But his power kept growing. And soon I wasn't bold enough for him. So I was cast out, banished here, and I've been alone ever since. Until now. This being is astonishing, but what a sad tale. In return for your friendship and that of your creature, I will teach you both. You will both learn the ways of the gods. 
Cool. When you are ready for the first lesson, meet me at the village through this pass. Maybe in learning the ways of the gods, I can get another hand or something. I don't know. Could you imagine the power I would wield if I had two hands? Be unbelievable. All right, let me find a rock for him. What you, oh, it's the hippie guy. Okay. Here's a rock. This might be too big for him. All right. All right. Don't you follow him. He could be evil. He's a stranger. Stranger danger. All that kind of fun stuff. Hey, come here. Pick up that rock. Is it too big for you? No, you got it. Dang. Yeah. Good boy. Run around with that rock. Slows him down a lot. He's like, <laughs> I got this. <laughs> All right. We want to strength train him. I don't know if it helps him grow faster, but it does help him get stronger. So. We could check his stats later. You know, he's got some stats. He's got like strength and dexterity and constitution. Well, not, you know, not exactly like that, but he's got some stats. We'll take a look at that later. We we'll go back into our temple. It's going to make him tired, I think, more. I think it makes him more tired running around like this. I mean, it'd make me tired if I had to run around the boulder all day. And bring him over here. You can go ahead and put it down. So you just click on the ground. He's trying to put it down. So you gotta... And of course, we're going to pet him. Be like, good boy, you exercised. You know, scratch his face. Scratch his bowels. With his bowels. Good boy, scratch your bowels. There you go. You're like, good. You ran around the rock, dude. It's very good. Exercise is good. Now, you ate the rock. So when he eats rocks, you go, you're an idiot. Don't eat rocks. Don't eat rocks. Rocks are bad. All right, let's see what this guy wants. This is the Aztec village. I will teach you the first secret here. These people do not yet believe in you as a god. To grow in power, you and your creature can impress them until they believe in you. Look at the village store. The flag shows that they need food. If you give them some, they'll think it's a miracle and will believe in you more. Click on the signpost to find out more about desire flags. Okay. This is a food miracle you can cast once. You can pick up such one-shot miracles with the action button, and activate them by tapping them with the same button, like this. So you're going to teach us how to use this. I'm just fine and all, but I already know how to use it, so thanks. Things like this really impress the villagers. If your creature is on the rope leash, he'll learn. So now, now we've done that, he should be able to learn stuff, like you said. The action button on the but I think I'm going to save this for next time. And when we come back, uh, we will teach him some miracles and uh, conquer this village over here. So I will see you guys then. Take it easy.